Hello everyone, my name's Callum McGough and I'm the head of Year 9. I'd like to start today uh, with our acknowledgement of country. We wish to acknowledge the custodians of this land, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation and their elders past and present. We acknowledge and respect their continuing culture and the contribution they make to the life of this city and this region. I'd now like to formally introduce uh, our Year 9 leadership team and our sen the senior school leadership team. Uh, so our senior school leadership team consists of Neil Bailey, who's our senior school principal, Mr. Michael Oaten, who is our uh, AP of Student Wellbeing Engagement, and then Miss Sonia Goodacre, who's our AP of Curriculum. I'd also like to formally introduce our uh, Year 9 leadership team that will work more directly with your students up in the Year 9 program. Uh, we have myself, who leads a team, uh, Callum McGough. We have Mr. Darcy Valance, who will be the year level leader for 9A to 9F. And we have Miss Stacey Giebel, who will be the year level leader for 9G to 9K. And we will be the people that if you have any questions about the Year 9 program and you have any issues that you need sorted out, we will be the people for you to contact. So why a Year 9 program? I guess the reason that we uh, have a Year 9 program is because we know this is where students start to have a few issues with their schooling. We know that there's issues with that can pop up with their attendance. We know that there's issues that can pop up with their engagement. And we can see some wellbeing concerns um, that pop up as well. And we know that having a year nine program uh, that's really centered around the student and really centered around the relationships that our teachers build with students is really important to helping solve some of these issues. In year nine, we really pride ourselves on the relationships that we build with students. We also really provide ourselves on all the opportunities that we can give to students. And these two things together can really help to direct them back on the right path if perhaps there's been some issues in the past. So we see a year nine program is really critical as setting up your child for the rest of their schooling career. So what do the nuts and bolts of the year nine program look like? So we start with your child's weekly timetable. So first off, your child will complete their core subjects as normal. So they'll have four periods of English, four periods of maths, they'll have three periods of science and three periods of humanities. In addition, a difference, well, they will also be having experiential learning. So you'll notice that they have five periods of experiential learning per week. So we dedicate quite a bit of time to this. Experiential learning takes very different forms. So uh, it can take personal best, uh, where we're in the classroom, it can be city experience, uh, we have a big community program, and all of these things that I'll talk about a little bit later occur on these days. A new addition too is that your child will also have electives. So in the first semester they have two electives and then they do a different two electives in second semester. And of course they also continue with PE and health. So let's talk specifically about what experiential learning will occur across the year. So on Wednesdays, we will have 9G to 9K doing their experiential learning. And on Friday, we'll have 9A to 9F. In term one, our focus will be city experience. So we'll have a lot of times where your child will be going out into the city and we've designed a program that helps them integrate them into the city and learn how to exist in the city, but also learn uh, about the different cultures in the city, learn about the different elements of the city. Uh, we take them on urban art tours and we take them on a whole lot of different activities. We also have a focus camp. Focus camp's really imperative uh, when we're building our relationships and perhaps it's our greatest tool in the year nine program to build those relationships. It's a great opportunity to get away, go away with the students, have a little bit of fun, but learn about who they are as well. In term two, we move through to the personal best program. And that is the real highlight of our term two. And it's a real centerpiece of our year nine program. This is highlighted by the year nine personal best evening, where the students get to display their projects that they've completed to the entire community. And it's always been an absolute highlight of our program. In term three, we reintroduce city experience in more depth again, and we start our community program. Our community program, we get the students out, we get them helping uh, in the community, and we give them different opportunities and different perspectives uh, of things that are happening in our community. We challenge their thinking, and we aim to build their empathy. In term four, we revisit Focus Camp again, and we continue on with our city experience, ultimately leading to the goal where the students are designing their own city experiences, and they're actually in charge of what the day looks like. And they can do this based off the skills we've taught them earlier in the year. 
I really want to highlight this next slide. This next slide talks about our year nine expectations versus opportunities. One thing that we're always aiming to do in the year nine program is to offer different opportunities. And as many of you may know from the past, we've run uh, WA expectation, uh, expeditions and we've also run an urban camp. And we're always looking to add to our program with additional things we can offer students. The staples of our program and the things that we expect that all students attend are our focus camps, our city experiences, and our OAG expedition, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. This is what we talk about when we're talking about our expectations versus our opportunities. It is very much our philosophy at Hazel Glen and in the Year 9 program that we attend those uh, events that are considered expectations in order to receive those opportunities. We want to see our students contributing to the college, uh, and if they are contributing to college in that manner, then there will be opportunities that are available to them. All right, so let's talk a little bit more in depth about some of the elements of the Year 9 program. And we'll start with City Experience. The City Experience program is where we combine the core curriculum that we complete at school with the city environment. We take students into the city and at the very basic level, we take students into the city and we teach them how to exist in the city. We teach them how to arrive on time. We teach them how to plan to go on public transport. And we teach them to do all these things that they need to know about existing in the city. Once students have got that, and we have a really, really important process where we take the students through uh, how to get into the city, we take them on the trains. Once we do that, it opens up the city as a classroom to us. And then we can take the students to the Immigration Museum. We can take the students to learn about the history of Melbourne in the museum. And we can do all these kind of things. There are, however, a few things with the City Experience Program that are very important to us as a Year 9 team. When we're talking at school, we talk about expectations and we talk about arriving on time, we talk about wearing the correct uniform and we talk about all these things that we do at school. When we are in the city, these are of the utmost importance and it relates very much to what you see on your screen around freedom versus responsibility. In order to access the full breadth of the program of the City Experience Program, the students need to demonstrate that they can be responsible. Students need to show that they can arrive on time. Students need to show that they can wear the correct uniform. And if they do that, they are allowed a few more freedoms in the city. If they cannot, then sometimes we can see that they are accompanying the teacher, they are with the teacher full time, and they cannot access it. With a city experience program, we put a lot of trust in the students and we trust that they are doing the correct thing. The next element of the program that I'd like to talk about is focus camps. Focus camps are truly one of the biggest highlights of the Year 9 program and one of the biggest tools that we use as Year 9 teachers to build relationships with our students. Focus camps consist of two days down at Clifford Park where we design a series of activities for the holistic development of your child. Activities consist around team building activities, uh, activities to, for themselves to get to know themselves better and activities to get, uh, to get them to know people within their home group better. Each of these camps has a theme. So as we go at the beginning, we'll talk about team building. How can we build teams better within our home group? How can we get to know each other better? As we move through the year, we'll start to celebrate and we'll start to focus on reflection of what we've done in the year. How can we use the skills that we've learnt to go through and help us when we're going to year 10, 11 and 12? Focus camps really give us a real good opportunity to get students out of the classroom environment and have some real purposeful conversations that can really benefit them in their learning when they're back at school. The next element of the program that I'd like to talk about is the expedition. The expedition is a six day hike and canoe around the Murray River. Students begin by collecting at the start of their journey. They will collect their packs, they will collect their tents and they get themselves ready for a six day journey. The journey consists of hiking for around three days and canoeing for around three days, where each day students pack up their tents, uh, go on their hike canoe to their next destination, and then will set up their tents and set up camp. This is a fantastic experience that I've had the opportunity to go on twice, and it has truly given me some of the greatest memories that I've had of the Year 9 program. Uh, fishing at Lake Yildon when we went back there is one of the true highlights of my program. And... As the head of year nine, it's perhaps been one of the biggest things that I've seen growth out of students on. Students in particular learn about resilience. They learn things that they may not have been able to do if they didn't go through that program. So we see it as extremely beneficial to the students and their development.
One of the key features of the Year 9 program is that we begin to talk about pathways with students and their future careers. And one of the key tools that we use for this is Morrisby. In Year 9, each student will do a Morrisby assessment. The Morrisby ses assessment is an aptitude test that provides a whole lot of information about your child's future pathways. It can provide information about future subjects that they should choose, it provides information about future courses they can do, and future careers. And what the most beneficial thing it does is it creates a conversation about what your child can do in the future. Each Morrisby assessment is coupled with a Morrisby counselling session. Your child has a half an hour session with a Morrisby counsellor where they get to break down the results of their test. We find that this can be really pivotal in your child deciding what they want to do in your future. In year nine, we are big believers that everyone has their own pathway. And one thing that we really want to do is help your child discover it. Morrisby is a fantastic tool to help us do that. The last element of the program that I'd like to provide a bit of detail on is the personal best program. In term two specifically, we will be allowing the students to complete their personal best projects. The personal best project for your child is anything they want it to be. We have a belief in year nine that students are capable of whatever they put their mind to. So we allow them to have the personal best project to put that into practice. Students are given an opportunity to do whatever they want. In the past, we've had students build boats. Uh, we've had students write songs. We've had students create recipe books. But they are taught the design thinking process and build a project around it. They also create a portfolio that documents their learning. This is highlighted, as I said before, uh, by our personal best evening where the students display their projects to the community. Quite often, this is a highlight of the Year 9 program for students. And when students have moved through the Year 9 program and gone to high year levels, it is constantly one that they talk about when they come back to the Year 9 program. Personal Best allows your students to break through their wall. They truly don't know what they're capable of until they actually go through and do it. And this Personal Best project has allowed students to truly see what they're capable of and help them out in the other areas of their learning. I'd like to lastly thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I can't wait to have your child in year nine with us and I truly believe it is one of the most exciting years of their schooling. One of the personal highlights of the past two years has been going to the year 12 graduation and talking to the leaving students about their time in year nine. Many, many, many of the students that have left identify year nine of one of their greatest years that they had at school and they still remember all the things that they did in it. So personally, I can't wait to be a part of your child's journey and hopefully provide them with the same experiences. If you have any questions or concerns about the program, please email me at cmagoff at hazelglencollege.com or get in, trouble with a uh, get in touch with a member of the Year 9 team or Year 9 office. Thank you very much.